Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, let us learn about a new directive called ng-click. Now ng-click tells the Angular application what has to be done when an HTML element is clicked. For our example, let us just create a small button that is going to increment a click counter by one every time it is clicked. Now inside our div tag, create a button element. So button ng-click is the directive is equal to count is equal to count plus one. Now close the button tag, then type click, and then the end tag. Now let us go ahead and use a paragraph tag to display the count. Count is count. Let's also go to our controller and initialize count. Dollar scope dot count is equal to zero. Save it. Go to your index file. Save it. When you reload a file, it says click and then count is zero. When you click, it says count is one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Now, ng click can also be combined with other directives. For example, ng show and ng hide. Let us have a, a small example on how that works out. In a controller, create another variable called dollar scope dot show and set it equal to true. And create another function dollar scope dot toggle show and assign it a function. Now what the function does is it is going to flip the value of the show variable between true and false. So show dollar scope dot show is equal to not dollar scope dot show. So if it is true it sets it to false and if it's false it changes it to true. Go back to our HTML file Add another functionality to ng click, put a semicolon and type toggle switch, sorry, toggle show. Now we are going to display the count depending on the show variable here. So if the show is true, let us display the count, and if the show is false, let us not display the count. So ng show is equal to show as we see here. So go ahead, save it, save your app.js, go to your browser, reload it, and when you click, it is gone. When you click again, the count is 2. Now when you click again, the show variable is turned to false, so count is 3, but it, it is going to hide it. False, true, sorry, false, true, false, true, and so on. Now, similar thing can be do, done with ng hide. If you change it, reload it, initially it is going to be hidden, and when you click, it, it is going to show one, click, hide, show, hide, show. So that's how you use ng click, and you can also use ng click with other directives such as ng show and ng hide. That's it for now. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.